Hey guys, welcome to my channel. I'm Jordi and if you're new here, today's video is basically going to be a get ready with me. I'm using a lot of affordable products that I just picked up from the store, so I'm gonna show you guys all of that stuff. And actually, welcome to all the new people. I gained like 40 subscribers in the last three days. I don't know where y'all came from. Wherever y'all came from, leave it down in the comments down below and let me know. But thank you so much for subscribing. I really appreciate it. So let's get started. So I went to CVS, I have this bag of goodies here. Um, I got some stuff from Target too, but let me show you guys what I got. Why does CVS do this? Like this is long ass receipts. For what? Anyway, I'm real excited because I picked up some Joa, is it Joa? Some Joa stuff. So it's supposed to be like K-Beauty expired, inspired. You guys, they had a couple of um, complexion items in there, but they had nothing for my complexion. You know, it's K-Beauty inspired, so you could uh, inspire some dark shades. But I digress. I still spent my money on it, so here we are. We're going to try it out. So <laughs> the first thing I am going to try out is this brow pencil. This is called the Precision Brow Pencil Brow Down to Me. This is cute packaging, though. And it's in the shade black brown. All right, so that is what the pencil looks like. Really cute. It has a little spoolie on one side. And then we got our point on this side. Okay, like your typical like brow with precisely my brow pencil type of deal. So I'm just gonna start putting that on. Let me zoom in a little closer for y'all. I may I just use like a whole separate thing to brush my brows up. But we're here. All right, so this again is in the shade of brown black. Let's see. All right, actually so far so good. I like the point of it. It's not really dry, but at the same time, it's not, not really waxy where you feel like it's gonna wipe off throughout the day. And it retailed for $8.99, but I got it for $6.91 because I had a coupon and they were actually having buy one, get one free. So that is what my brow looks like. And I did get a brow gel from them as well. So that's the packaging of the brow gel. I just got a clear one. So it's supposed to hold your brows in place all day. That is the component. Oh, that's a nice brush. That's what the brush looks like. I'm gonna brush that up. There we go. We'll see how that lasts throughout the day. I can't tell y'all my thoughts right now because it's a brow gel. So yeah, I'm gonna finish this on off camera and then I'll come back and show you guys some other stuff. All right, so I just went ahead and concealed my eyelid because if you've noticed, I have a little bit of a darker eyelid. So from my eyeshadow to look a little bit more true to color, I conceal my eyelids. Most people do that. But anyway, so I'm gonna go in with two different palettes. I haven't showed you guys this one. This is the Pro Fusion Royals palette. You guys, I've been using this for like a couple months now. It's bomb. It retails for $4.99, so I already have my thoughts on that one. And then I'm also gonna be going back in with this one. This is the Milan Gilded Desires palette. I've showed you guys that one before. Um, but I haven't used it in a long time, so I'm trying to use it my stuff. So I'm pulling it all out so that we can play around with it. So the Milani one has this nice mirror. It's good. I think I want to do something smoky. So I'm going to go in with my Milani palette and this brown shade right here. This palette is very pigmented. I'm gonna go in with the Profusion palette and go in with this shade above that, just to give a little bit more dimension and color. So yeah, there we go. So you can find Profusion at select targets. And this Milani palette is from Ulta. I think it was $20. I'm gonna go in with this color right here and pop that on the outer corner. Blend the edges. Go in with the small brush and the black in the palette right here.
Go and with a flat shadow brush and pick up that color right there. Go back in with that burgundy tone and pop that here just to blend everything. I'm adding a little bit more black into the crease. I'm gonna go back in with that color from Profusion palette and just kind of blend the edges. Now I'm going in with some fly liner from Fenty. I think I'm just gonna make that a solid black line and just make it a little bit more smoky on the outer corner with the black from the palette. Just kind of blend the edges. Okay, so I kind of winged it out a little bit more. So I went ahead and cleaned up my under eye area just using a makeup remover wipe. So that is what it's looking like, just pretty smoky. I'm going to apply these lashes. These are the Sephora Collection Demore lashes. So as you can see, it's a little bit winged out too. So I'll do that off camera. So my lashes are drying, but I picked up this Olay Mist. This is a essence. So it's the ultimate hydration essence. So this one is supposed to be energizing. It is, um, the ingredients are vitamin C and bergamot. So it's supposed to hydrate, of course, and then leave your skin revitalized, refreshed, and energized. It's supposed to refresh your makeup as well, but I'm gonna put this on before, so. I picked this up because of Jackie Ina and Andrea Renee. Is it Andrea or Andrea? I think it's Andrea and Andrea Renee. <laughs> so next I'm gonna try out this Wet n Wild primer. This is supposed to be a dewy primer. I'm excited about this. I'm gonna keep my foundation and concealer um, to things that I know that I like so that way I can test out the other products I'm gonna put on top of it. But that's what the primer looks like. It's creamy. I think that's too much. Oh wow, it is really dewy. Sis, I am glittery. The fuck? <laughs> oh no. Okay. It's definitely dewy. It has glitter in it. I don't know how I feel about that. Does my face look textured? I was not expecting that. Okay, anyway, that primer retails for $4.99. I'm just gonna go ahead and put my rest of my makeup on. This is the Range Beauty Foundation. This is in the shade Sahara's Rose. I do have a separate review and wear test on this foundation. I actually really like it. I've been wearing it a lot. So I'm gonna apply that to my face. Cause I can find my sponge. Okay, and I'm using my Sunny Kashuk sponge. So the foundation is um, like a natural matte. So we'll see if the primer affects it. Okay, everything went on fine, thank God. Cause I was afraid my pores were going to be illuminated but this looks fine and you can see that glow underneath my skin which looks really pretty so you know i was a little scared there i'm not gonna lie to you i thought my face was about to look hella shiny but it worked out it worked out so i'm gonna go with my maybelline age rewind concealer this is one of my favorite drugstore concealers it's really good the bounce
So I have two different powders here. I picked up this one from Joa. This is the Selfie Ready Setting Powder in the shade Banana. And then I also have the Remmel Stay Matte Powder that I picked up because of Andrea again. Uh, in her recent like favorites video, she said that she really liked it for every day. And that it was actually translucent. So yeah. But I think I'm gonna go on with this loose powder. And if I don't like the shade of it, then I'll try that one. But I don't think I'm gonna put two powders on my face today. So you can turn it. So you can open it. That way you don't have powder falling all over the place. So I'm gonna... So that is the shade Banana. And I'm gonna just go in with my Real Techniques setting brush, because I like how small it is. Oh, this is like very finely melt. Wow. Okay, let me see. It didn't pick up too much, or maybe it did. But that's a little bit off. Put that concealer in, and we'll see. Okay, okay. Okay, this powder is nice. Hold up. This powder... Look at my receipt. The powder also retails for $8.99. I got it for $3 though, because it was buy one, get one 50% off. And I had a coupon, like I mentioned. It's very nice. It's like very blurring. I wonder if it has flashback. I'm going to take a flash photo and I'll show you guys if it has flashback. Oh wow, look at that you guys, look at that. I'm not gonna put too much on my smile lines because it don't help me anymore. So whenever I crease my smile lines because I don't put powder there, I can just use my finger kind of press it in. So that's where we're at right now because nothing is helping me. If you guys have any recommendations on how I can keep my smile lines from creasing, you know, help a girl out. Tell me some stuff that I can do. Okay, that powder is nice. That is really nice. So yeah, I just um, set my under eye area in T-zone. I don't necessarily set the rest of my face because I like my skin to have a natural glow to it. I never like it to look too powdery. I'm gonna go ahead and contour. I'm using my Fenty Matchstick, so that's not really affordable. So I'll come back and I'll show you what else I'm gonna be using. So I'm gonna go in with my Spice Market Palette from Sephora Collection, like I always do. But I don't think I've ever showed you guys that I use this as a bronzer sometimes. So this shade right here, I'm gonna use as my bronzer. This I consider to be affordable, even though it is at Sephora because it retails for $28 and you get six shades. So basically, what is 28 divided by six, you guys? $4 each. As you can see, it just warms up my complexion really nicely without being too red. I really love this palette. So I don't know if you notice, I'm not really swiping back and forth. When I apply my bronzer, I'm kind of lifting as I go so that everything blends very nicely and we don't interrupt anything underneath, especially because I do not powder the perimeters of my face. So just a tip in case you don't notice how I do it, I blend and lift my brush as I go. I'm not swiping back and forth at all. Um, so for my blush, I'm gonna go in with, I always do this, a mixture of these shades because I just like the tone that it gives me. There we go. And they have a slight sheen to it. So they give my skin a nice glow. <laughs> See that nice flush of color? Okay, so these are the last things that I picked up at the store. This is the Wet n Wild Mega Glow Bronze and Gold Bar. So I have a oh, bronze bar and rose gold bar. 
So this one is the bronze bar. These were $4.99, you guys. Like, that's ridiculous. Bronze bar in the shade Let It Glow. Wet and Wild. Be low-key killing the game with their affordable stuff. So that is the bronze bar. You can see that. I'll swatch that for you. Bronze. Oh, wow. It feels very nice. So that's bronze. Low-key, probably gonna go in with rose gold. I'm not gonna lie to y'all. And then this shade is called Baby It's Rose Gold Outside. Baby It's Rose Gold Outside. All right, and then that's what it looks like there. And let me get a clean finger. And that is the shade of the rose gold. Let's see? Oh yeah, that's the rose gold. That's really pretty. I'm probably gonna layer both of them so we can see what, exactly what it looks like. And then, oh my gosh, I was on Twitter. Do you guys follow Medina, M-U-A, Alan Kim? He showed us that this palette whole time has a mirror in it. And I just remembered, because I was like, wait, look, it has a mirror. Isn't that cool? So just in case you didn't know, he knew that it had a mirror in it. Okay, so let's add some highlights to my face. I'm going to go in with my BH brush. I'm going to do the bronze one on this side. Okay, all right then. $5 highlight. That's how y'all trying to do it right now. That is pretty. I'm going to wipe that brush off. Okay, and I'm going to go in with the rose gold. On this side. I like that one. Okay, they're both very pretty, but I like this one a lot more. I mean, they're both very pretty. I'm gonna keep both of them. I'm not returning anything, so we're good. But rose gold, you're going all over my face. You remember when I said that I like more of a glow from within and look at me putting all this highlighter on my face. I'm just popping a little bit of the bronze on this side. So we got a mix, nice mix. All right, that's really pretty. I'm just gonna go ahead and set my face using the Olay Mist. So that can sink in. I am going to finish up my eyes. And I'm just gonna go ahead in with the rose gold bar and use that as an inner corner highlight. Because why not? You know, it has a little bit of a lighter um like gold right there in the star. I'm actually gonna pick that up. Let's see what that does. Um, I don't like that one. I think it's a, <laughs> it's a little chunky for what I want it to do. I'm gonna go with another shade. Just a little bit chunky. I'm just gonna go in with this shade right here from the Milani palette. All right, there we go. Um, so far everything looks good like I think my complexion looks really nice and I'm here for it like this highlight is really pretty too so I'm just gonna go ahead and apply my lip I'm gonna go in with the usual NYX nutmeg lip liner And for lipstick, I'm gonna go in with this. This is from Maybelline. This is the color Sensational Shine in the shade 60 Chocolate Lust. It's just the nude. And we're gonna go in with the Pro Fusion Lip Topper in the shade Charm. It comes in a lip kit for $4 with the Charm Liquid Lipstick. So that's the lip topper in the center of my lips and who can guess what else I'm gonna put on my lips. 
Go ahead and guess. Just guess. You're right. We're gonna go on with some gloss. This is the Ulta Lip Oil. All right guys, so that is it for my finished look. I really liked how everything turned out actually. I don't like dislike anything at all. I think the only thing that I'm concerned about is probably the flashback that the powder might give me, but I'm not sure. I'm gonna take a flash photo and I'll insert it. Um, if it has flashback, I'll let you know. But so far, I do like this powder, the Selfie Ready Powder from Joa, Joa, whoever they are. They are manufactured by Kiss. So, you know, K-Beauty inspired powder is pretty nice. The primer looks pretty good underneath my foundation. I was a little concerned because it was a little glittery. I don't know if you can see, but I have like, you probably can't see that. I have glitter on my hands. Um, but I do like the way that my complexion is looking. I feel like the foundation went well on top of it. So I don't see like extra pores or anything. Um, but that might be because of the foundation because this is a really good foundation in my opinion. This is the Range Beauty, a uh, True Intentions foundation. Again, I do have a separate review on that, but I've been wearing that a lot and I really like the foundation. I feel like it goes on really well. It feels very lightweight on my skin. It's long lasting. So you can watch other reviews, you know, just search the brand and see if somebody your skin type, you know, likes the foundation. If you do not know, I have normal to dry skin, especially in the winter time, it's a little bit more dry. So far though, it looks good. I always prep my skin before I put on my foundation. I use moisturizer, I use serums. As you can see, I use the mist before I apply that so my skin is always hydrated before I put something on and that one never feels too dry on my skin so I like it it's a really good one and then we are talking about these highlighters I already mentioned that I really like them they're $4.99 I do prefer the rose gold color to the bronze color but that is just preference the formula is nice I don't know about that little star in the middle how I feel about that because it felt a little chunky but I haven't tried it on my face so we'll see how that blends out the brow products now those are actually really good my brows are now dry and I feel like the brow gel has set it has set in place okay these brows don't look like they're going anywhere today so I'm into that $8.99 if I can find me a affordable brow, affordable brow gel that works I will be a happy camper because the one a couple of things that I hate buying you guys I'm gonna tell y'all I do not like buying brow pencils I do not like buying brow gel because they're so expensive and I go through it like crazy and if you haven't noticed I like my brows so I need to find something affordable that will work out and so far these seem like they're gonna be good contenders so I like them um what else did I try on don't let me forget shit oh the pro fusion palette I already told y'all I like this because I've been using it for a couple of months now I didn't really use it for the majority of the look the majority of the look was with the Milani palette and that palette is really good it's very pigmented um a little bit goes a long way it blends very nicely so i have no complaints today in this video as you can see affordable drugstore products are definitely contenders with high-end products too i know that most of my videos show a lot of luxury and high-end things but that's because i work in a high-end <laughs> retail store where i have access to these type of things so, you know, I know a little bit more about them, but so far I'm here for a lot of the drugstore items, especially, especially Wet n Wild. They're here killing the game majority of the time. So I did not try the Rumble Stay Matte powder in this video, but I'll try it out in another video, probably using my regular stuff that I normally use. And I'll let you guys know how I feel about it, but that is going to be it for today. If you have not, I would love for you to subscribe to my channel. Give your girl a thumbs up if you like this video. Do you like how this look turned out? I really like it. Yeah, I'll see you in the next one. Bye.